Alright everybody, so where we left off last time, we had just landed at the Pragasu mining station and we were in the stasis tube which is right here and I believe it's a back to tank, I believe, or cultural tank, which heals you and we just woke up so I guess we're going to be exploring the station and we had just been in the too. too. Can't interact with any of that. Immersion in cultural tanks can heal most wounds. If you have lost vitality points during your explorations, return here to the medical bay and use the empty cultural tank behind you to heal your wounds. So let's go through here. And you know what? While we just explore this, I just want to talk about how I plan on playing this game. This any door that can be bashed open can be cut through more easily with a lightsaber and construction tool, such as a plasma torch. To bash open a door, equip a plasma torch on the equipped screen. Select bash on the first box in the action menu, and the door is selected. Let's see if we have a plasma torch. Gotta go find one. Oh, what I was saying is, I tend to try to play this game the way I, w I would play in real life, so my decisions reflect who I am, but that also means I tend to side towards the light side. I, I'm not a malicious person, and I know some people might find it a little bit more entertaining for me to, to go dark side, but I think for my first playthrough, I'm going to go light side. So, access to medical locks. Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Only one survivor, placed in the cultural tank for recovery. The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the Nava computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to make it inside the Paragus asteroid field without the asteroid drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board, sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to... Hmm. Alright. So they found us. And it seems like she got cut off. Could be a Jedi. But we won't know for sure until we get the transmission back from the Republic. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korja, are already st Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. If the lockdown measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the culto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get any specifics. Hmm. So... Are the droids being rigged, or... Are they just acting on their own? Have they become sentient? We'll see. We'll find out as we go through this. Miners about the Jedi. A number of the droids have been acting oddly. And not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance. But we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts. And with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Tilo shipment for this month. Fortunately, the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning, there has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown commencing. All personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No! If the ventilation systems are malfunctioning, evacuate the medical bay! Everyone evacuate! <sighs> so, seems that, like not everyone was happy that we were here. And I'm pretty sure those droids acting up aren't just a coincidence. And I, these people may, may be dead, they may be alive, I don't know. So, everyone but me is deceased. I'm the only recovered person, so they all died. What did they try to put? I don't know. All subjects being treated treated for severe plasma burns. Last treatment request resulted in death for all subjects except patient three, who was reduced to minimal life signs. Check injury. A lethal dose of sedatives was administered to all the tanks, including number three. There's no record of who ordered the treatment. So yeah, someone tried to kill us. We have no spikes. Let's unlock the door to the morgue. Let's 
Access the medical bay camera. Unlock medical storage room. Alright. Access main console options. I think we're done right here. Let's read this journal entry. You found records showing that a lethal sedative treatment was given to the miners in the Paragus Medical Bay. You received the same lethal dose, but survived. You should try to find out who administered the treatment and why they tried to kill you. So let's go. And let's check all of this and get what we need. Med packs. Chemicals. Many med based items are based on chemicals. It may be useful to take these chemicals to the medical workbench in the med bay and turn them into a med pack that you can use to heal lost vitality points. So yeah, um, I in my first playthrough I did not use, or my first time playing this game, I didn't use the um, the lab station until way at the end. But I'll just demonstrate how you can use it. Let's see. So to create a med pack, it says you need 20 chemicals, and we have 25. And we have four med packs in our inventory, so let's create one just to demonstrate. And you see? Pretty simple. So let's go into this morgue. Here's a plasma torch. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Your voice. I heard it as I floated in, in the caudal tank. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one. Or perhaps you have been trained for such things. Such a long. You looked dead when I came in. Close to death. Yes, closer than I'd like. You have the smell of the Kolto tank about you. How do you feel? The Kolto tank left me a little... drained. Who are you? I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Last thing I remember, I was on board a Republic ship, the Harbinger. What happened to it? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. How do you know I was a Jedi? Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. Mm. The Jedi Order and I have a troubled history. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. All right, what's going on? How do we get here? I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. That tongue got raised real quickly. Why do we need to leave? We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. This is why we get the persuade points. Even as I slept, I felt much unrest here. I saw strange visions, minds colored with fear. Now, everything here feels terribly silent. A last word of caution. I would find out as much as you can about this place quickly. I fear we will need to depart as suddenly as we arrived. We'll see. There's got to be someone left alive around here. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. Persuade. The patients in Medbay were killed by lethal dose of sedatives. Any idea how it happened? I do not know. Why did they spare you? They didn't. I got the same dose, but I survived. Indeed. A Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. You seem to know not about Jedi techniques. And so do you. 
Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. Hmm. I'll return soon to make sure you're all right. I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here, I will remain and attempt to center myself. Light side points gained, and sorry about this, but I may just be AFK for a couple seconds, and I'm gonna mute my mic. Alright, I'm back. Like I said, just a couple seconds. You have taken your first steps on the path to the light side. Heroic acts and charitable responses to others will elevate you further, bring you more in touch with the light side of the Force and its higher mysteries. Cruel or selfish actions will reverse this, causing you to fall to the dark side. Alright, let's keep exploring. We can get the stamp store now. Let's go equip our plasma torch. Emergency lockdown overridden. Check all these corpses. Vibro cutter. Normally a mining tool, a vibro cutter deals with an effective melee weapon. Melee weapons give an attacker a large bonus to attack against enemies using ranged weapons. Equip the vibro cutter in your other weapon slot, then switch between it and the plasma torch when you need to cut open the container door. Alright. Hmm. Let's go to controls real quick. Uh gameplay. Key mapping. Switch weapons is H. Alright. Alright, that's simple enough. Broken droid. Let's take all the stuff. Another. Because you can't raid this corpse. Emergency lockdown is in effect. The lifts have been sealed. Hmm. So we have to manually open the door. So we're gonna have to find a way back there. Keep exploring. Damage mining joy. The game pauses when you sight an enemy and a selection reticle will show up in red. You can use the mouse to select the other hostile targets. This auto pause option can be disabled in the options screen. Okay. You can have multiple powers or items in each icon of the action menu. Scroll up or down using the mouse wheel to cycle through the various options. Let's just attack this. Simple enough. Character stuck. And this is disgusting. Mining laser. I believe that's a ranged weapon and so I don't want it because I love melee based builds. With the exact reason that you just saw right there. One shotting these guys. And when we get our lightsaber, it's so good to be melee. We can go back if they drop anything later. Broken droid. Take it off. I'm gonna assume that's magnetic ma magnetically sealed too. Chemicals and iron grenade. Security tunneler. Check security records. Is this thing on? All right, all hands, especially you, Corder. Listen up, because I'm not gonna say this again. 
The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is gonna take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus II and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. Ooh, that guy was really real mad. Accident and report According box. to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Korda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. So my rivals caused a lot of problems. And honestly, from the way he looked, he looks kind of stressed out, so I kind of feel bad for him. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Medbay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. Hmm. So, so they're gonna sell us to the exchange. Where they were, they were thinking about doing it, and now they're attacking the miners. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. So if all the droids have to be shut down, maybe to open up the doors you have to kill every single droid in the facility? I don't know. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the footlockers in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt, and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged, and maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. So it's a slaughtering. I think we have to try to get to there. I I don't know. Ooh, there's still someone in there. Alright, well, let's head out. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond. Yet it stems from nothing that lives. Kreia? Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. 
Cast aside what you see and instead reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy that you can feel echoing outwards. With Kreia's help, you have gained the passive precognition power. When this power is triggered, you should save your game. Good idea. Save the game right now. Let's go through this door. Let's just fight. Ah, you hear it. It is faint, but it is there. I feel strange, like the sedatives are wearing off. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. But it doesn't feel like it did. It feels like it's coming from across a great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Gaining experience will slowly re-establish your connection to the force. Go to the level up screen to choose your force abilities. Let's just kill this guy first. And let's level up. Force sensitive and unarmed specialist one. Skills. Hmm. Let's put one into awareness and one into and one into repair. Affect mind. That's that's a good one. Gives you more op um, responses to certain people. Iron grenade med packs. Let's try this on. I believe... I, I don't remember what the control for stealthing up is. I thought it was G. We might have to check right now. Gameplay, key mapping, game. Toggle stealth is G. Maybe we have to have some points in stealth to toggle it. Alright, well, let's just go through this whole room first and kill all these enemies. Save the game right here. All right. So, oh my God, this music. So, I think we're gonna end the video here for right now. Thanks for watching. And if believe it or not, we actually made some pretty significant progress in the game. I just want to. I feel like. It's a courtesy to you, and it's also quite interesting to get the most we can out of the story. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be uploading a video soon again. Alright, bye.